It's homecoming 2021 at Clayton High School, and the Greyhounds will welcome the Principia Panthers to Gayfield this afternoon. This past Monday night, Clayton beat Afton 33-12 for their first victory. Meanwhile, Principia is seeking their first W of the year. When we come back, we'll have the kickoff. You're watching Clayton Greyhound Football. And a pleasant good afternoon to you from Gay Field. As it is homecoming 2021, a gorgeous afternoon here as we have the Clayton Greyhound. And they will host the Principia Panthers. I'm Todd Schumacher giving you the play-by-play. -play. As we said in the intro, the Greyhounds getting their first victory Monday night. The game against Afton got moved to Monday evening here at Gay Field. It was a victory 33-12. to And the Greyhounds will try to make it two in a row against Principia, who's 0-2 on the year. And we're ready to start action here as the Greyhounds in their new dark gray uniforms with the orange numbers. Here we go. Kick will go back into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback, and the Panthers will start off first down and 10 at their own 20. The starters for Clayton, their starting quarterback will be Brady Turnbaugh, and the backfield for him will be Magnus Needham and Cole Dannel, Principia, and they're away white with blue trim uniforms. Last year, the Panthers went 0-2 in that limited COVID-19 season as they lost to Grandview and then Lutheran South. They go out of the shotgun. Hand it off up the middle. Some good room. Hammering it ahead. That's Luke Warwick before he's taken down. Double Greyhounds in on the stop. As we're starting off here in the first quarter, first 10 seconds, Principia has the ball to start it off. They'll continue out of that shotgun. Pistol formation, two to the left. High snap, Turnball keeps it. He goes up the middle, tries to skate through after he got the first down and only got about a yard in on the stop for Clayton. Was Campbell Brinkman got through there. The big man made the tackle, and it'll be second down. Only about eight. Just underway here. And there'll be a flag. Some movement there on the Panthers. I'll back them up. Now it's a legal procedure. There we go. Second down should be 13 at the 27. Man in motion. Goes across. At their time, high snap. Hand off from Turnball. He'll go up the gut. This is Warwick again, and he's handled. Didn't get too much daylight. Brinkman in on the stop. Also helping him out with Xavier Moore. Make it third down and 10. Panthers at their own 30. They open up with the first drive here on homecoming. Turn ball back. Puts it up in the air. It'll be a jump ball. And a, almost a chance for an interception there. His intended receiver was Tillman. Deshaun Tillman, the senior, tried to get up there. Made a good effort at it. That's going to bring up fourth down. They'll go for it. Fourth down and 10. And trips to the right. 
handoff for a turn. Well, he'll do a rugby-style punt. And not very good. Goes out of bounds. Good field position for the Greyhounds to start off on their... Well, we are back. We apologize. We had an interruption in the broadcast. Slight technical difficulty as we join the action again. Principia with the ball. That was a first down as they enter Clayton territory. Under four minutes left to go on the carry there was Luke Warwick. So again, we apologize. I'm coming 2021. I'm Todd Schumacher. Giving you the play-by-play. -play. This is Principia's second possession. They started off the game with the ball, went three and out. And the Greyhounds had it, but a turnover. And Lewis threw an interception. Now Principia's got it back. This is Warwick again. Hammers ahead. He's got first down yardage. That will move the chains for the Panthers. As they get down to about the 27, almost in the red zone, trying to get the first points of this game. the shotgun. This is Turnbow. Work to his right. Hand off to number 10. He'll hammer ahead, but uh, three Greyhounds converge on him to shut him down. In on the mix there was Campbell Brinkman and also the big man Luke Stepanovich. On a size on that line for the Greyhounds. They stuff him in the lead. Second down and 10 at the 26. 2.05 left to go, opening frame. Mark to the left to Turnbow. The Panthers trying to get on the board. Play clock down to 10. High snap. Hands it. He will keep it. And boy, sniffing that out fast. And a big one there as Kean Perry charged through. He didn't fall for it as Warwick on the play action. Turnbow does not get anything, which brings up third down and 10. Ball still at the Clayton 26. Hearing one minute left to go in the first quarter. Last year, Principia went 0-2. Lost to Priory and then Louisiana in that COVID shortened season. Right, ball back. Puts it over the middle on a good catch there. Diving to get it. Terrific play was Magnus Needham, the freshman. Threaded the needle was Turnbow on third down, and now under a minute left to go. Greyhounds, Greyhounds will try to hold their ground before this first quarter comes to an end. Warwick split to the right of Turnbow, and a whistle, and a flag. Encroachment on the Greyhounds. Oh. Be five yards. Be a first down and five. So they could get the first down without scoring on this one. First down and five at the nine yard line. Now 30 seconds left to go. Armbo hands it off to Warwick and a great tackle and play as no fooling Dempsey Brinkman. He broke through that line and stopped them in this tracks. Warwick was going nowhere on that first down and five. Terrific play by Brinkman. Second down and seven now at the 11. It looks like a timeout. It's going to be called by Principia. And actually, 
That is going to be the end of the first quarter. We'll come back for the second quarter of action. No score between Clayton and Principia. You're watching Clayton Greyhound football. And welcome back to Gay Field. Start of the second quarter, no score between the Greyhounds and the Principia Panthers. Principia knocking on the door, but they are stuck right here. Second down and seven at the Greyhound 11. That's who is Dempsey Brinkman with a tackle for the loss. The last play of the first quarter. Brinkman sent to the right of Turnbow. Hands it off to Warwick. And there's a penalty flag that comes in. Good game there for Luke Warwick, but we've got a flag. We'll take a look and see what that is. As it might be a personal foul. Horse collar tackle on the Greyhounds. So that'll make it. First down and goal for the Panthers trying to get the first points of the game here. Mark and Turnbull look over to the Panthers sideline. Coach Sean Brown for a play here. Ball sits at the seven. Now they'll switch work to the right side. There's Warwick, and he's not going to get anywhere again. That is the second time in about the last four plays that a play to Warwick got blown up. That was Campbell Brinkman. We had Dempsey. Make a big play right before the end of the first quarter. And this is Campbell stepping forward. That defensive line of the Greyhounds has been pesky here in the first 12-plus minutes. And it'll back the Panthers up as Coach Ray Barnes talking it over with the head official. Let's uh, get some clarification here with 11-24 early on in the second quarter. Principia, as we said, 0-2 on the year. First week, they lost to Grandview. That's down in Jefferson County. Down by Hillsboro, 49-6. And then tried to get some traction, but fell at Lutheran South, 47-18. to Now, legal procedure. And a timeout is going to be called... By the Greyhounds with 11.24 left to go in the second quarter here at Gayfield, homecoming 2021. We thank you for tuning in. I'm Todd Schumacher giving you the play-by-play. -play. Coming up next for the Greyhounds next week, they will be at U-City next Saturday. So they had a short week this week when their game with Afton was moved to Monday night, but then they'll get the full seven days as they'll travel to take on the Lions just up the road. So 
Coach Doug Verby, assistant, getting them fired up as they head back out, facing a first down and goal. Ball sits right at the 10 for Principia. A couple penalties for both sides have stalled the progress. Stayed in this red zone. Turn ball back there. Warwick switching to the right side. Well, looking over to the Panthers sideline. Low shift again. Gets a snap off. Looks left and he's going to be taken down. What a play. Blazing in there to make it. Uh, Calvin Sweeney. Man, he came blazing through there, and Turnbull didn't have a chance. We've seen both Brinkman boys make a play, and this time it was Sweeney stepping up. Second down and 15, ball backed up to the 15. So a loss of five on that one. Under 11 to go, 10.50 to be exact, Turnbull. High snap, hands it off, trying to get somewhere, but he stopped pretty quickly. Boy, the Greyhounds have just swarmed on Warwick when he comes through. I mean, I don't think he got back. He, they're going to mark it that he did get back to the original line of scrimmage. It'll make a third down and goal at the 15. Greyhounds pinning their ears back on this one. Panthers have gotten deep, but have not been able to capitalize. Lineouts, one split each way, left and right. Here's the pass by Turnbow, and it's incomplete. The closest receiver in the area was Isaiah, actually, excuse me, on that left side for Principia was Deshaun Tillman. So fourth down and goal. Let's see. They are going to go for it. They did not bring out the kicking team. Kicking crew is 10.05 left to go. Fourth down and goal at the 15. Showing rush are the Greyhounds. Turnbo over the middle. And it's complete to Deshaun Tillman. A 15-yard pass. And that puts the Panthers on the board here early in the second. So Tillman had missed the previous pass. It was almost the same pattern. Turnbow looking left, throwing left. Now, 10 seconds left on the play clock, and looks like a timeout is going to be called. Actually, they'll restart the clock. Fresh game clock. And they'll go for two. Panthers leading 6 to nothing on the pass to Turnbow. To Tillman. Here's Warwick, and he gets stopped. They fail to get the two-point conversion, but not before... The Panthers draw blood in this game to make it six to nothing. When we come back, the Greyhounds will get it back. You're watching Greyhound football.
back here at Gay Field. Ten minutes left to go in the second quarter, and the Principia Panthers, they get on the board first. Touchdown reception by Deshaun Tillman. are not able to get the two-point conversion, so Panthers lead by six points. Received back there is Isaiah Moore. And this one's a squib kick, and they touched it, and it looks like Principia got it back. It was a squib kick. It looks like Turnbow. Turnbow might have been the one that got a hold of it. So just when the Greyhounds were hoping to answer, they'll be back on defense with 9.56 left to go in the second quarter. A little trickery by the Panthers is... Not able to get the two-point conversion, but they came firing right back out. Squib kick. Made it just across midfield. Greyhound touched it. And they'll start first down and 10 at the Greyhound 44. The middle. And look, it might be Warwick fumbled that. Clayton's trying to indicate they did, but coming back up with it. As Warwick. A couple yards on that one. Second down for the Panthers. Up next, Panthers will host Brentwood. Be their first home game of the season. That's coming up next Friday. So we'll have a short week, six days to prepare for the Eagles. So it's second down and seven. Principia. At the Clayton 41. Almost nine minutes left to go in the first half. Less than 10 on the play clock. Sit down. Here's Warwick up the middle. And let's see. Two yards there. Warwick again. Stepanovich was in on the stop as the Greyhound sealed that up pretty quick on that second down. And it's going to be a false start on Principia. So they'll back up. If they got to about the 39, they'll go back five on that. That'll make it a second down and 12. Actually, yeah, third down and 12 at the Clayton 46. Six to nothing, Principia. They got the ball back. Trying to charge again for a second score here in the first half. Ten on the play clock. Hand off to Warwick. Up the middle. He's got some space. He breaks to the first down marker before he's finally wrangled down. Stepanovich. Got to hold of him. Also in on the play was Sanders was in on the mix there. Not before the Panthers can move the sticks. Eight twelve left to go. Second quarter. Panthers take a little bit to get set at the line. They utilize that full play clock. Showing blitzes. Clayton. Handoff. Again, up the middle. Warwick will meet about six Greyhounds. Greyhounds indicating that there was a fumble. Officials come in. That was... And it is a turnover by the Panthers. And <laughs> let's see. They're about talking to the, <laughs> to the referee. Greyhounds think they have it. Panthers are saying, wait a minute, we're already down. It's a big big call here with 7.45 left to go first half. I 
Referees confer. But there was a penalty as the Greyhounds backing up here. Yep. Be against Clayton. Foul. Face mask call. That gets it down to, looks to be first down and 10, right at the 11 for the Panthers. So just when the Greyhounds thought that they had Principia stopped, it only cost them deep inside the red zone, first down and 10 at the 11. They can get the first down without scoring. It's back two and a half minutes ago, the Panthers... Scored on a Tillman touchdown. Two minutes into this quarter. Well, that's going to be a timeout. Called by Principia. That is their second timeout. We'll step away. 6 0 Principia here on Homecoming 2021. You're watching Greyhound Football. Seven twenty-one left to go in this first half. Principia charging after a personal foul on the face mask by the Greyhounds. Panthers set up first down and ten at the eleven. Enoff goes to Turnball, right into the epicenter of the Greyhound defense. He'll get nowhere. Half the Clayton defense. <laughs> Sniffed him out. He's been a workhorse, has Warwick been. Really, the only thing they do different, they'll shift him either to the left with the turnball or to the right. That kind of opened up the opportunity for the passing game. Reception, they got Principia on the board. Second down and 10 now, under seven minutes left to go. Daniel, right in, a bunch close to the line here on this one. Showing blitz is Clayton. And up the middle. Maybe about a yard if he did get back. Work yet again. To the line of scrimmage. That'd be third down. He got backed up a, a yard. So third down and 11 at the 12. As Charmbo, he's getting chased, looking, looking, throws it up into the end zone and over the head. And incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down for Principia. Five forty-six left to go. First half. Fourth down, eleven. Ball at the twelve. A 
Brady Turnbow. Looking. Throws over the middle. Incomplete. And it'll be turnover for going to the Greyhounds. Tended receiver was Tillman, the man that's scored the only touchdown or points of the game. This Principia leads six to nothing. And back on the field is Aiden Lewis and company. 542 on the clock. And off. Nothing doing there. And it's on the handoff as Isaiah Moore sniffing out with the Principia defense. No gain on that one. Actually, a loss of one. Make it second down and 11. Another handoff to the left side. Nothing doing there. Looked like it was more again. And we've got a flag on the play. Which direction it's going. On Principia. Four fifty nine left to go, first half. First down. Ball sits at the 25. Clayton in their own territory there. First down and 10. Another whistle. The officials get things sorted out here. So, Tessel is over on the far sideline talking to Sean Brown, the Principia head coach, it looks like. Looks like we're ready to go on first down and 10 at the 25. In the backfield, Sweeney and Moore for the Hounds. Pitch. Bumbled, able to pounce right back on it. Looks like it was more lined up to the right, able to cover it. Five yard loss, second down, 15. Four twenty left to go. Or they'll head to the break. Greyhounds would like to get something going here. Lewis, there's a flag. He's going to air it out down the far sideline and incomplete. Uh, 
on that far sideline. The intended receiver was Sanders. Kai. He had coverage step for step. The off target by Lewis. It was declined. It was on Clayton. Third down now. Ball sits at the Greyhound 20. 6 0 Principia. And timeout called by Clayton. It's 3.59. We'll have to go. We'll step away. Second quarter. Principia 6. Clayton 0. You're watching. Clayton High School Greyhound Football. with the handoff coming to the near side is Moore and he gets taken down good pickup by number four fourth down and one ball sits at the and now a Flag. Flag on Principia. They drew him off sides. And Greyhounds will get the first down. It's a smart play by Aiden Lewis and company. Three twenty one and counting in the first half. And Sweeney can't get away from that Principia defense. Breaking through. Making the stop. It's Cole Dannel. You have Cole and Carter Dannel on that defensive line for the Panthers. Second down and seven. Ball is now at the 36 for the Greyhounds. Warren Sweeney in the backfield. He's going to air it out. Swatted at the line of scrimmage. It is a dead ball. That's like Carter Dunn, Daniel, broke through there. He's the tallest on that defensive line, or one of the tallest. Also... Say Elam on that left side of the line for the Panthers. Third down and seven. Two thirty left to go. Clayton still in their own territory here, and flag comes flying in again. It's 
going to be... Okay, now they're starting to shuffle backwards. Let's see what the call is. So offsides on Clayton. Five-yard penalty. To make it third down and 12. Fourth down and 12 on the 31. Hand off, almost bobbles it. Getting control of it was Isaiah Moore, but it's going to be a loss. Be near two minutes left to go. Now it's fourth down. Correction, that is a turnover on downs with 2.04 left to go. Greyhounds are kicking. I'll get it straight here with 151 and counting here. Midfield will be a fair catch. And at about the 43, that was Tillman. And the Panthers will take over there. 140 left to go on the clock. Coming out of the timeout, it's Principia as they. It should be their final timeout. Well, two previously. So I think both in the first quarter. 140 on the clock. Panthers with a six point lead. Blitz and swatted away. Is it a live ball? It sure is. And it's <laughs> ruled an incomplete pass. So the Panthers luck out on that one. That would have set up the Greyhounds in a good opportunity field position wise. Now 134 left to go. Second down and 10, ball now at the 43. And Splags come flying in. Let's see if Greyhounds drew him. Or if it was encroaching. Third and 14. 131 left to go. First half. Homecoming 2021. And off for work up the middle. It's about two yards trying to get back to that line of scrimmage. And timeout by the Greyhounds. Should be their final timeout of this first half. The third and 13 when we come back to action.
115 left to go as we resume action after the Greyhound timeout. No timeouts for them remaining here in the quarter. Brady Turnbaugh. Quarterback. Over the middle, and it is complete. Trying to get some good yardage. Fighting it off is Tillman. That'll be first down and goal for the Panthers. Let's take a look at the replay. And then Principia does score. We apologize for that as we were in the replay. And they have increased their lead to 12 to nothing. It was Tillman again on the reception. His second touchdown on the afternoon. Both scores for Principia and the game. They'll go for two here. Pass for the two-point conversion. And Tillman gets it again. I got the touchdown, his second of the game, and then he gets the two-point conversion. And we'll take a break. 45 seconds left to go first half. Principia leads the Greyhounds 14 to nothing. You're watching Greyhound football. Fourteen to nothing, Principia. They have scored with forty-five seconds left to go. They'll kick it off here. The line kick it goes past Moore. It will go into the end zone. The first down and ten for the Greyhounds at their own twenty. So ten minutes early on. Ten minutes left to go in the second quarter. It's a fifteen-yard touchdown pass from Turnbo to Deshaun Tillman. Just now, a four-yard touchdown pass to Tillman. They get the two-point conversion to make it 15 to nothing. Take a look at that pass. That set up the touchdown by Tillman. Back to action now. Pass out to the flat on the right side, and it's good. Complete. And now a fumble, and Principia gets it back with 34 seconds left to go in this second quarter. Last was complete. It looks like it was a fumble after he made the reception. Oh. 
now with 34 ticks left in the first half. Panthers, an opportunity to add to their 14-0 lead. Ball sits at the 33 of Clayton. Mark with the handoff. He's rounded up from behind. Dempsey Brinkman made a nice play. Looks like Ward might be shaken up. They're getting tackled there. step away for a little bit as that Principia player is being looked at. Right now, 14 to nothing. Principia leading the Greyhounds. I'll actually let the clock expire. Going into the locker room here at homecoming. Greyhounds trailing 14 to nothing. You're watching Greyhound football. And welcome back to Gay Field. As we're about to start the second half, Principia leading 14 to nothing here on Homecoming 2021. I'm Todd Schumacher giving you the play-by-play. Greyhounds will receive to start this second half. As Deshaun Tillman scored both touchdowns. Touchdowns from Brad Brady Turnbow. I'm going to kick off here. 14 0. That one's short. And covering it up near midfield. That's where the Greyhounds will start off, is covering that up was Miles Brown. A good job by him. Let's see what the Greyhounds can do here. Aiden Lewis brings out Clayton. First down and 10 at their own 47. Warren Swinney. This one's off to Moore. He's in the Principia territory. Nice move. Gets about five. Second down for the Greyhounds. Greyhounds next week will... Go just a little bit northeast of here to U City. They'll take on the Lions next Saturday. As their last game was Monday night, which was moved against Afton from Friday. So short week here, but they'll get a full week heading into that one. Good run to the edge. He's close to first down yardage, and that was Calvin Swinney. Winnie and Moore, they are the go-to for this offense for Coach Ray Barnes. And they're going to be about one yard shy. Actually, mark it about two yards shy. Ball right at the Principia 45. And Lewis, been out of the shotgun all game. Moore and Sweeney. Each side of them, under 11 to go. Just underway third quarter. There's more. Nice spin move. Cuts to the left. He's got first down. They'll move the sticks. And that could be a flag right there. Aiden Lewis came in. Got a hold of Deshaun Tillman. It's Tillman. 
thought he had a fumble recovery. It looked like the ball had been blown dead. Lewis took him down right in front of the Clayton bench. We'll see what happens when they sort this out. Christian Saunders, Greyhound trainer, taking a look at him here on the sideline. Frustration there. It's a good run. First down yardage as Isaiah Moore cut to the left. Came towards that sideline, and then it was Deshaun Tillman charging through as he thought it was still live. It hit the ground. He tried to pick it up, and as he came to the 50-yard line, Lewis got a hold of him. So all the Greyhounds on their knee. Our penalty flags on the field. So we'll see what happens when they sort this out. Coach Ray Barnes regroups his squad. He'll pick Lewis up. As a holding on Clayton. Personal foul on the Greyhounds. Officials get it sorted out. 10.33 left to go, third quarter. That is going to back the Greyhounds way back. They're going to place the ball at their own 31-yard line. So they went from being about the 45 of Principia back to the 31 in their own territory. Third and 25. Handoff goes to Moore. He goes to the right. He's got room. He could get up near midfield. He's still going along the far sideline and out of bounds. A great run by the Greyhounds, and they're in good position after facing a third and 25. Takes it all the way down to the 42. So in one play, they got back to where they were before the penalty. It's in Sweeney. He's got room. And he is going to get down to about the 26. Another good run as the twosome of Moore and Sweeney strike. And back-to-back -back plays. Now the shotgun, first down and 10 at the 27. Ball is bobbled, able to recover it and get off to the left is Moore, and a great effort play, and it looks like he might have first down. Wow, Moore and Sweeney in three consecutive plays making things happen on this first drive by the Greyhounds. Take a look at one of these runs here. This was the first big one. This was by Moore. Got out to the right. Found some room down that far sideline. We're back to action. We'll show you that next play led to a high snap, trying to round it up, and still on his feet. 
and then taken down. So it's going to be a loss on that one. Good effort, though. Perry. Cam Perry stepped in to fill in for Aiden Lewis. Just couldn't handle that. But a good job making sure it didn't get away and in the hands of the Panthers. They're down 18 at the 35. The middle. Positive yards. Isaiah Moore. Excuse me, I had said it was Perry. Third and 18. Makes it fourth and 14. And it's going to be a timeout by Clayton. Now I'll take a break. 8.30 left to go, third quarter, Principia leads 14 to nothing. You're watching Greyhound football. Fourth down and 14 for the Greyhounds. They're in Principia territory at 31. Halfback toss. Down. Touchdown, Greyhound. A great pass on some trickery there. And the Clayton Greyhounds are on the board. That was by Makai Sanders on the halfback option. Halfback toss, excuse me. 823 left to go and the Greyhounds going to go for two here the front keeper short on that one so it is 14 to 6 in favor of Principia A great drive by the Greyhounds. Took a look at another one of those runs. So we need more for in the mix and really help the, the Hounds move down the field. Cut here towards the near side of the field. Down inside the 30. That would help set it up. Kai Sanders from 31 yards out. Now Clayton down by just eight points. T 
tee it up. So they kick off. Skip along the ground. It goes out of bounds. Penalty comes in. Principia. A good field position to begin this drive. 823 left to go. So first down and 10 at the 35 for the Panthers. Panthers come in 0-2. Greyhounds, one and three on the year at their first victory Monday night, right here at Gay Field against the Afton Cougars. Ready, turn ball. Looks over the line of scrimmage. Warwick in the backfield with him. Oh, Daniel. And here's Tillman again. He's got it. He's off to the races. And he'll go in for a touchdown for the Panthers. This one, 65 yards. And Principia has made it 20 to 6. But just like that, after the Hounds had gotten a great drive and capitalized off it, being a touchdown from Makai Sanders, 65-yard reception by Tillman, and all of the scoring for Principia has been from Deshaun Tillman. Go for two. Now oh, the shotgun up the middle. Did he get in? He sure did. That makes it 22 to 6 in favor of Principia. Take a look at the replay. Sean Tillman. Ball had time. Puts it up. 65 yards to the house. Let's see if the Greyhounds can battle back here. Answer. Plenty of time. 8.13 left to go third quarter. I'm Todd Schumacher giving you the play-by-play. -play. Beautiful day here in Clayton at Gay Field. Brady Turnball, he'll do the kicking. Back is Kai Sanders, one of the men. Back for the Hounds. Scored that 31-yard touchdown reception. Get them on the board. Let's see if they can answer. Plenty of time left to go. I'll be Sanders. Good return, taken out. He's still going, and he's up at the 40. He'll go out at the 41. Terrific field position for the Greyhounds to get going and answer to the Panthers. The Panthers in their two previous games only scored 24 points and 
Losses to Grandview and Lutheran South. Greyhounds had just an amazing offensive display against Afton Monday night, over 500 yards. Total yards for the Greyhound attack. First down and 10 at the 42. Aiden Lewis back in there. Here's the handoff. He loses the ball. Does he get it back? Nope. Coming up with it is Warwick. That's a tough break is Calvin Sweeney. Broke through, but lost the handle on it as he came just past midfield. go back to the Panthers after a good return by Sanders to put him up at the 42. So here come the Panthers. 7.54 left to go third quarter. Panel at the tight end slot. Hand off there, nothing doing. Maybe a loss of one. Perry in on the stop, the big defensive lineman. A lot of, as we said, a lot of good size on that front line. You have the two Brinkmans at the linebacker position. Luke Stepanovich on one end. You got Ken Perry on the other end. Formidable crew here. 210, second down and 10 at the 47. Showing blitz are the hounds. Snaps high, goes over Turnbow's head. He'll just cover it, and <laughs> losing his helmet as coming in to cover him was Stepanovich. Boy, snap went a little high. Good effort by Brandy Turnbow. Turnbow hustled back to get it. It's a huge loss. All the way back to the 30 of Principia, third down and 27. Six forty. We'll have to go third quarter here at Gay Field. Ball. Comes to the sideline. Sean Brown throwing in the shots. Work was on the right, shifts to the left. Ball back to throw. He's going to air it out, looking for Tillman. Tillman double covered and almost picked off. Good coverage. On the coverage for the Hounds was Guy Puckett. Show you that replay very shortly. Fourth down and 27 for the Panthers. Greyhounds has set somebody back there. Turnbo in the pistol. And flag. Puts it up. And it's picked. Isaiah Moore, he's got it. And he is in for the touchdown. Let's see if it stands, though. Yeah, it looks like it will. It will stand. So a touchdown for the Hounds with 5.57 left to go. That was poor. Isaiah Moore with a terrific play. Turbo put it up. Moore just camped out right underneath it. Got it and took it to the house.
70 yards by Cowan Sweeney. For two here. Trying to sneak in, and he does. Well, the two-point conversion is good. And now the Greyhounds answer right back. That's 22 to 14. So a whole new, new ball game as it kind of took some wind out of the sails of the Hounds after answering right away with that 31-yard touchdown pass by Tillman. He responds. And let's take a look at that pick six by Sweeney. So Tarmo put it up. Kind of an air ball. Moore steps right in front of it. And he's gone. Made a little juke there about 10 yards out. And he's in. Great play for the Hounds. I-57 left to go. So a big score for Clayton. They get 22 to 14. Squib kick on the ground here. Takes a high bounce. Scipio will field it. Some moves. Well started at the 31 yard line. See how that Clayton defense, that D line that's been so good this afternoon in terms of pressuring Turbo. First down 10 at the 26 for Principia. There's Warwick. There goes down Warwick. Stepanovich was there, but it was Ken Perry. Actually, Nelson made the play. Lots of two. Second down and 12 for the Panthers. Two left on the shot clock. Gets the playoff. Here's Warwick up the middle. Not much. Maybe a couple. Campbell Brinkman was there. Pick up a five, third down and seven. And this thing will work. Stepanovich, he sniffed that out. He shed his blocker and got right to Luke Warwick. Got a couple yards. Down and five. 
Greyhounds have somebody back there. Turnbow in shotgun. Let's see if he does a rugby style kick here. He will. Gets it off. Not a good one. Goes out at the Greyhound 40, and that's where they will pick up. 3.27 left to go in the third quarter. 22-14 in favor of the Panthers, but the Greyhounds making a lot of noise here in the midway mark after coming out of the locker room at halftime. So first down and 10, Hounds will start at their own 38, but a timeout is called by Principia. Three and a half left to go in the third quarter. All right, let's take a look at that pick six. By Colin Sweeney. Just steps in front of it. 70 yards in for pay dirt. And a great answer. After Deshaun Tillman had scored his third touchdown of the game for Principia early on. First down and 10. Ball at the 38 for the Greyhounds. 327 on the clock in the third quarter. Hand off up the middle. Good move. Gets about a yard. Taken down by Elijah Turner. So, second down and seven at the 41. Back to throw, Lewis over the middle and stepping and fronting and getting the interception. He'll get a good return. He might go the distance. And it looks like he might have got pushed out of bounds. He sure did. Back at about the 10. Getting the pick for Principia was Deshaun Tillman. He has done it all for the Panthers. It'll be first and goal for Principia. Ball sits at the four. Sean Tillman has done it all for the Panthers and have them knocking on the door with 236 left to go in the third frame. Playing clock. Less than 10. Mississippi hustles in with a substitution. I think they had only 10 on the field there. Here's a keeper. There's a turnball. Tries to cut the corner. Does he get in? He does not. Angled out of bounds. It was about down to the one. Sets it up. Second down and goal. Ball at the one. Ball still out of the shotgun. And off, up the middle, cuts to the right. And that's in Luke Warwick. 
with another touchdown from one yard out. And Principia extends their lead with 2.23 left to go. So answering right back. Make it 28 to 14. They'll go for two. Work again. Can he add the two after the touchdown? No. So no good on the two-point conversion. But the Panthers now extend their lead to 14. There's a replay of that touchdown by Luke Warwick. As you see, it was second down and goal just from the one. Came off to the right, got some good blockers, dove into the end zone. That's where we stand at 28-14 as the two-point conversion was no good for Principia. They're trying to find their first victory on the year. We said they lost to... Grandview and Lutheran South, both on the road. Two twenty-three left to go in the third quarter. Actor receive is Sweeney and Sanders. This one low kick going to go over towards Sanders. Will he field it? No, he's going to let it go out. Penalty. It'll be first down and 10 for the Hounds at their own 35. So good starting field position for Clayton after a first half that didn't have a ton of scoring. It was scoreless at the end of the first, and then Principia would get two of the three Tillman touchdowns, 15 and four-yard variety to go into the locker room, 14 nothing. Ball sits at the 35 after the penalty. Nice move. Laney getting in there. It's a couple. Be a second down and six. Jaheim Magaki made the stop there. Gain of three, second down and seven at the 38. Under two minutes left to go, third quarter. Greyhounds, though, have been answering after Principia has punched it in. Height snap. Getting it. And it is going to be a big loss. All the way back to about the 25. Bring up a third see where they're going to mark it here. It'll be a third long situation. So, coming off the field, Mason Decker. Let's see... Under a minute left to go. Clock still moving. Looks like they got Sanders 
Patrick. He's taken over for quarterback. Uh, with him being a receiver, taking the place of Aiden Lewis, also Decker, fits on the sidelines. 44 seconds on the clock. Sanders in the shotgun. Hands it off. Comes getting pushed out. So Sweeney with a nice pickup. It'll move the sticks. Goes out of bounds. Stops the clock. 27 seconds left. Yep, at the 40-yard line. Kai Sanders still back there in the backfield. Playing the shots. Greyhounds in those new gray uniforms. Handoff. Back to Sweeney. Shakes off. A tackler comes to the near side looking for a little more room. Gets inside midfield before he's taken down at the 46. An absolute fantastic play by Calvin Sweeney. And a timeout's called. Let's take a look at that replay. Calvin Sweeney gets stopped early at the line of the scrimmage. <laughs> he just sheds that tackle and gets into Principia territory. A fantastic athletic skill right there. As it looked like it would be actually about a loss of one or two yards. Number four wouldn't have anything to do with it. Keeps this drive moving along. Now they got things done Monday night against Afton. Over 400 yards on the ground for the Greyhounds. They're going back to the bread and butter here in the second half. A good back and forth matchup in terms of on the scoreboard here between Principia and Clayton. First down and 10. Start the fourth quarter. He'll keep it. Sanders comes near side. Almost got away from a tackler. Unable to do it. Making the stop was Magakai for Principia. So a gain of five for Sanders on the keeper. Makes it second and five at the 42. Sanders still going to call the shots there. High snap, but it goes right to Sweeney. Excuse me. And the ball is loose on that near sideline. And it is going to go back to Principia. As it got away. So Principia will take over at the 35-yard line. I think it was Isaiah Moore. Had it just found some room, but it gets loose. Greyhound drive is stalled. He 
Turnbaugh on the Panthers trying to build on their 14-point lead here at the very start of this fourth quarter. Hands it off. And great defense. Deponovich just stifles it. Drives through, sheds his blocker, and stops Warwick, who has done so much for the Panthers to set up that passing game. And Deshaun Tillman, who scored three touchdowns for the visiting squad. Second and 12. Ball at the 30. Principia takes a while. Use, utilizes that play clock. Time ticking. 14 point lead. They can take their time. Play action. And Perry came in, swatted it, and it's going to be incomplete. Yeah, Perry just charged right through there. Great athletic play there. Almost. Could have been a live ball situation. Instead, it's third down and 12 at the 30. Did stop the clock at 10.21. Quick throw by Turnbull. It's picked off. Has some room. Is he going to go in? Sure is. Touchdown, Greyhounds. A 30-yard touchdown off the interception for Calvin Sweeney. And how do you do? The Greyhounds answer right back. By 10-11, the Hounds are back in it, 28-20. to Let's take a look at that. Sweeney had it, weaves through traffic, and he's in. 28-20, so now the Greyhounds will attempt the two-point conversion. High snap. That's it. Up the middle. He's got it. Two point conversion is good. And now it is 28 to 22 in favor of Principia. So here come the Greyhounds again. Let's take a look at that play for Ian Perry on that drive. This one, almost a fumble. He used his height. He came off that right edge, swatted it, almost just grabbed it right out of Turnbaugh's hand. But it was blown dead. Didn't matter. Then it was Calvin Sweeney taking it in off the pick six. From 30 yards out, 10-11, left to go. Let's see who we've got. Looks like it's Campbell Brinkman to do the kicking duties. He's going to tee it up here. This one. Liner across the turf. And just pouncing on it at the 35 is Principia, and that's where they'll start. And that's left to go in the ball game. Sweeney and Moore for instrumental. And that win Monday night against Afton. Now Sweeney making his presence known here this afternoon on homecoming. 
30 yard pick six. Come on. Mark at the 34. That line blacker blitz. It's a fumble. And do they come up with it? They sure do. And the Greyhounds have the ball back. So just like that. And underneath it, it could have been Dempsey Brinkman coming up with it. Let's take a look at the replay on that one. Kind of a high snap for Turbo. Yep. And then it bounced off Warwick's helmet. And right there, that defensive line that's done a really good job as far as pressuring Principia into situations where they make mistakes. Concentration isn't quite dialed in. That's what happened. Turbo. Had the snap, it just went right off Warwick's helmet. And now a timeout with 10.05. We'll have to go in the game. This one. Here again is that pick six by Calvin Sweeney. Guy at the 30. No doubt about it. Just like that. First and ten. Greyhound set up shop. I snap. Sanders has it. And now coming through, this is going to be a big gain. Uh, he's along the sideline. Is he going to go in? Touchdown, Greyhound. 33 yards on the run. And just like that, we could have a tie ball game. We do at 28-28. Touchdown by Sweeney again. Now they'll go for the two-point conversion. Up the middle, and they get in for two more. And now the Greyhounds lead by two, 30 to 28. Take a look. Give you another look at that swingy touchdown. 32 yards. There it is. Sanders handled the snap. Sweeney got some help from his friends and then created in traffic. Dove in. You got it. Six more points plus the two-point conversion. And the Greyhounds on top with 9.54 left to go in this ball game. Homecoming 2021. Sean Tillman. Is back there. Oh, an onside kick. Does Principia have it? The Greyhounds indicate that they have it. Let's see what the call is by the officials. It sure is. The Greyhounds take over right at midfield.
There it is. A little trickery. Greyhounds just took the lead. They want to keep the momentum. It looked like Principia almost had it, but too many gray shirts in the area. And they stifle it out. It'll be first down and 10 at the Principia 49. So the hits keep coming for Clayton. I'm going to send this homecoming crowd home on a positive note. Still under 10 left to go. Coming back from 14-point deficit, now twice. Sanders hands it off. Into the right, this is Isaiah Moore. He's going to be grabbed down, and then did he lose the handle? He sure did. And it's a turnover back to Principia with 9.44 left to go. Just like that, the Panthers will have it back. They'll spot it at the 44 of Principia. Warwick, about a yard or two. And the mix there was well, Sweeney, just scored on that 32 yard run. Second down and seven at the 47. Man in motion is Deshaun Tillman, who's had, had a big day. High snap. It goes over Turnbow's head. The Greyhounds pursue it. Do they have it? No. Luke Warwick was able to cover it up, but a gigantic loss. It's going to go all the way back to the 30-yard line. Big loss. Third and 24 now. 8-20 and ticking. Greyhounds up by two. Stillman in motion. High snap. Turnbow gets it. He's going to Tillman. Tillman is down there. He's double covered. But instead, it's another receiver for the Panthers. And he's going to go to the house. Now on that one, it was Gavin Horton. Seven fifty two. Horton's touchdown. Um, 34 to 30. I'll go for two. Principia with one timeout. Greyhounds still have two. So they're heading towards the halfway mark of this fourth quarter. Trumbo sends Tillman in motion. And off to Warwick. And he weaves his way through traffic for the two-point conversion. 7.52 left to go in the ball game. That's 36 to 30 in favor of Principia. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, Greyhounds will get the ball. 36 to 30, Principia. You're watching Greyhounds football.
we'll do the kicking. Do these for the Panthers. 36-30. In favor of the visiting Principia Panthers. Just under eight minutes left to go in the ball game. I'm Todd Schumacher giving you the play-by-play. -play. Here comes the kick. It'll be a low liner. Comes for a second. Here's sideline. Sanders, is he going to field it? He does, and then steps out of bounds at the 26. First down and 10 for the Hounds at that. Mark on the field. Clayton in a really tough district. Class 4, District 3. MICDS right now. Rams undefeated. They're in first in terms of the district standings. It goes by points. All the calculation based on wins and losses to uh, teams. Same classification as you. It's MICDS from Parkway North. Soldan followed by John Burroughs. Parkway Central, U City. And then the Greyhounds. First down and 10. Sweeney. It gets some, but not going to get much on the stop there. A couple Panthers. Cole Dannel led the way. 726 left to go. Not still moving. Second down and 11. There's some movement. Looks like Principia. Encroachment on the Panthers. Back them up. Move the Greyhounds closer to midfield. Clayton trailing by six. Build off that momentum they've had coming in after that big and win Monday night. In the middle now bouncing off. This is Sweeney. He's still moving. Finally gets pushed out of bounds just before midfield, not the 40-yard line. And a timeout called by Principia. 6.55 mark. Principia now only has one timeout left. Clayton with two. Did a great effort. This has just been Calvin Sweeney all afternoon. Sees traffic on the left, and he completely rolls a Houdini move there, and with a nice block from his teammate. Gets pushed out of bounds. As does Magnus Needham. He, he thought he was going to wrap Calvin up. So when he bounced off him, got help from his teammate, keeps us moving along and moves the sticks first down and 10. And now, now the fish was. Senators. 6.50 left to go. Here's Sanders on the keeper. Trying to find some room. Goes to the far side of the field and he'll be wrapped up. He's taken down from behind. Defensive play by the Panthers. week. Greyhounds face U City on the road. Second and six at the 42. Sanders takes it. Hands it off. Wagner there on the carry. 
Picks up a couple. Third down and four at the 44. Sanders back there. Isaiah Moore. Wildcat. Looks ahead. He's into Principia territory at the 49 and a first down. Ian Perry being the play call in from the Clayton sideline. Sanders back there with Isaiah Moore. On the other side is Sweeney. That pair. Here's Sanders. He'll keep it. Make some nice moves. Cut to the near sideline. He's to the 40. Down to about the 35 before he's taken down. Great play there by Makai Sanders. A lot of skill, a lot of speed on this Clayton squad. As we take a look at it again. When you have three terrific athletes with speed lined up in that backfield, standards, it's going to be a penalty. It's going to come back off a holding. But still a nice play, as you see. The speed in that running game of Clayton. It's 445 now. Time running. And the fourth quarter. The fourth and four. So a big fourth down. And off. This is Calvin Sweeney. Runs to the far side of the field. He won't get back to the original line of scrimmage. And that will bring up a second down. So that was a first down after... The penalty was marked off. Time still ticking. We hit about four minutes left to go in the fourth. Greyhounds down by six. Plenty of time. Keep this drive going. Get in the end zone. There's a keeper. Coming to the near side, Ted's a tackler, makes a little more move. He's close to the first down, Makai Sanders. And then a little mix up there. Boy, that's unfortunate. Makai Sanders got pushed out of bounds, was a little bit upset with the defender. And that's going to be a personal foul probably on the Greyhounds. Not what they need in this very... Important drive to try to tie this up. Let's take a look at it again. Sanders is trying to get that extra yard. It's thrown out by Tillman, and he was upset. Tillman got the best of him. You got to keep a cool head here. Very frustrating, especially in a tight battle like this. That's going to back him up. It's the officials marking it off. 15-yard variety back into Principia territory. It'll be at the 41. So line of scrimmage is a Principia 49. It's 10-yard pin. Sportsmanlike conduct. Makes it third and 20 at the 41 for the Greyhounds. They're Back in Principia territory. Sanders and a penalty. Flag comes in. Greyhounds continue to go backwards here. Third and 25 now. Ball sits at the 30. Thick. And here, there's a pass down the, and it's Herring. He got it. An amazing catch by the tight end. 
And you can't ask for a better catch there and a clutch one at that. Watch on the replay as we'll show it to you here in a second. And some just razzle-dazzle. And just what the doctor ordered just in time for the Greyhounds on that long third and 25. And Perry down there in double coverage. Two white jerseys on him. It didn't matter. He gets the first down, and it's at the Principia 32. Snap from Sanders. Handoff. A move ahead. Got a couple yards making the stop for Principia. Number eight. More on the run. Needham on the tackle. There's three left to go. Turning out to be just a fantastic homecoming game here in 2021. Second and seven. Sanders. And off Sweeney. He goes far side. Now cuts back in. Great move. Working to the right sideline. And he will be pushed out of bounds at the 13. At the 12-yard line. And here you go again, another big play by Calvin Sweeney in the second half to get them within striking distance of punching it in. We've got a Principia player on the field. He went out of bounds at 2.23 left to go. Here you go on the replay. Sweeney cuts left. Then he's going to come back right. Good stiff arm. I think it was Tillman. It finally got him out of bounds. Just so strong, that lower body, able to keep those legs moving. And it was. The two big weapons who've done a lot of damage for both <laughs> but their, their team this afternoon. Deshaun Tillman's had three touchdowns, and Calvin Sweeney has had three touchdowns as well. Here's Cam Perry. This this is what really, if the Greyhounds can pull off the victory, this might be the one as Perry rounds it up in double coverage. Deshaun Tillman was as close to Perry as far as the defender. He was the closest one. He looked up. He couldn't believe. Number 18 pulled that down for the Greyhounds. That kept this drive alive. And then Sweeney with some fantastic move on that last replay that we showed you. They're knocking on the door at the 11-yard line. Now by six, Greyhounds have a lot of momentum going right now. While they look at the Principia player, shaking up. We'll step aside for a minute. 223 left to go in the game. Principia, 36, Clayton, 30. They're watching Clayton, Greyhound football.
So we're back. First down and 10. Ball is at the 11. There's a snap. Going to Sweeney. Bounces off. He keeps alive, but he's taken down. He got taken down for a loss. It's Needham on the stop there after the Principia injury. Make it one yard pickup. Second down and nine. So they can get the first down without scoring. One fifty-one on the clock. Greyhounds trying to punch this in. Tie it up. Hand off to the left. Now cutting left. Tillman takes him down. That was Sweeney on the carry. Boy, Tillman and Sweeney just battled it out today. This afternoon it has been a showdown. And it looks like be a timeout there. Timeout. Clayton. I think actually on that last run was Robbie Wagner. Looked like number eight or number six, Isaiah Moore. Greyhounds, one minute, 35 seconds, a third and seven. Ball sits at the Principia eight, and they trail by six. They have come alive in the second half after being down by two touchdowns, 14 to nothing at the half. Trying to send the crowd home happy. Here's Sanders out of the shotgun. And they draw him. It'll be encroachment on the Panthers. And that'll get them five yards closer. Or half the distance. Let's see where they mark it here. Is it down to 10? And they're going to right there at the three. Now the official. I'm going to talk things over with Coach Ray Barnes as he comes to the sideline. Third down and two. So they'll replay the down after the penalty which came out to be seven yards. So they'll put another second back up on the clock. 135. It's the encroachment, no time ran off. Here we go. Third and two. Ball at the three, handoff, moving right. Can he get in? He sure does. Touchdown, Clayton. The six points ties it up. 36 all. Alvin Sweeney with his fourth touchdown of the game. And with just 131 left to go. They'll go for two. Very important two here. They've gone for two all afternoon. And a timeout is called. It'll be Principia's. That will be their final one of the game. Which could play a huge factor as they'll get the ball back with a buck and a half left on the clock. Sweeney. Three-yard touchdown run. Now the all-important two-point conversion. Here's that touchdown. 
by Sweeney. His fourth on the afternoon. Sanders hands it off. And he, he's a guy that gets into traffic. And <laughs> it's kind of a, a Houdini act. Where'd he go? Weaves his way through traffic. Great footwork, great lower body strength to get into the end zone. And here comes the two point conversion. The Greyhounds can take the lead. Here's the snap. Sanders, he's going to keep it. And he does not get in. It is no good. So we stay tied at 36 apiece. But nonetheless, a great drive for the Greyhounds as they charge all the way down. And on the feet of Calvin Sweeney, have tied this ball game up after being down by 14 two different occasions. We'll step aside when we come back. Principia gets the ball. 131 on the clock left in the game. No timeouts for the Panthers. You're watching Clayton Greyhound football. Back here at Gay Field. So Principia was able to prevent the Greyhounds from getting in for that two-point conversion. So it's tied up at 36 apiece. Franklin will do the kicking duties for the Hounds. 131 left to go in the ball game. At least regulation at this time. See if the Hounds can stop this Principia drive. As the ball gets past them, it's going to be... Picked up at about the two-yard line. And then getting smothered at about the seven-yard line. Great coverage by the Greyhounds. That's picking it up on the return was Gavin Horton. Horton had a touchdown back in the third quarter. Actually, on the fourth quarter, it was that 70-yard touchdown pass that put him up. Principia up 36 to 30. But this time they'll start first down and 10 at their own 11. 89 yards they have to go to try to get some points on the board and win this game in regulation. Wide receivers each sign off to the right, left. Up the middle, this is not how you're going to get it, by the ground game. They have a dangerous weapon to Sean Tillman, who has three touchdowns in this case. Handed off to Luke Warwick, who's been the workhorse on the ground for Principia. Now time ticking. They may be content just to send this one to overtime with one minute left on the clock. That's what they're going to do. Instead of risking a turnover deep in their own territory, the Panthers are going to Drain this clock. And only fitting that this game that has gone back and forth in this second half is going to head to overtime. Here's the handoff again up the middle. Where they got to be careful as you hear from the crowd. Greyhound's trying to strip that ball. Ten seconds. That will do it. So at the end of regulation, we'll head to overtime. With the score, Principia 36, Clayton 36. Don't go away. We'll start the extra period right after this. You're watching Greyhound football. Welcome back to Gay Field. We're going to start off 
overtime tied at 36 between the Greyhounds and Principia. It's been a fantastic game here on homecoming afternoon. Let's take a look at the touchdown that got us here. Thirty or three yard run by Calvin Sweeney. Cuts to the left, comes back to the right, right up the gut, in for the touchdown. Weren't able to get the two point conversion. This Principio is content to run out the clock. And about after a penalty, they had about 125 left on the clock. They didn't want to make any mistakes. So the Greyhounds have been very opportunist this afternoon. Had a couple of runs up the middle and ran out the clock. Hounds will get the ball starting at the 25-yard line. Ready to go. First down and 10. The left hand off to the left. He was on the carry lane, Sweeney. Galvin with four touchdowns. Tillman, big weapon, certainly offensively with three touchdowns for the Panthers, but also defensively. They had a touchdown saving tackle. On that drive that tied it, the game up 36 apiece. Second down 11. That was a loss of one. There's Sanders on the keeper. Moves left. Cuts back to the right. He's got some room. Can he get in? And it is down to about the one yard line. Great move by Sanders. Boy, when you talk about Isaiah Moore, Callen Sweeney. Makai Sanders, that is a lot of speed to deal with in one backfield. There was a tail end. Tail end of that last one. Shed the tackler. Ork thought he had a handle on him, and it was Tillman. Tillman got him down, but not before the first down. And goal ball sitting at the sixth in this overtime. Nice snap, hand off. Here's Sweeney. He gets met at the goal line, keeps pushing, keeps moving. And they're going to say he's down. Again, that's that lower body strength number four brings to the table. It takes a lot to get him down. It'll be second and goal. Ball sits at the one. Browns trying to punch it in. They certainly had momentum here in the fourth quarter, but a, just a great fireworks show of a, a game in the third and fourth quarter of regulation. Sanders back there with Moore and Sweeney. Off left, Sweeney again, and he gets in for the touchdown. That was one yard and his fifth touchdown of the game. Take a look at the replay. Good blocking up front. Charges ahead. Gets pay dirt. It's 42 to 36. Now, go for the two point conversion. Sanders. He'll call his own number. Cuts to the right. Can he get in? Dodges three defenders and he's in. Two more. And it is. Forty four to thirty six.
Here you go. First and ten for the Panthers. Ball at the 25. We're in overtime. Greyhounds have been rolling along here in this fourth quarter. Their offense has been so potent, and they've done it by the ground with Calvin Sweeney and company. Hand off to Warwick. Luke Warwick has met right at the line of scrimmage. He was going to go absolutely nowhere. And in on the mix there. Coming forward, big number 54, charging through Campbell Brinkman. That backs him up. Actually, they'll still stay at the 25. No loss on that one. It is second down and 10. Turnball. Is he going to go to the air? He sure is. Up over the middle, it's overthrown. Intended receiver was none other than Deshaun Tillman. Tillman, three touchdowns on the game. Let's take a look. At that stop by Campbell Brinkman. He just gave him the old, excuse me, where are you going? <laughs> Dumps him right in his tracks. Third down for Principia. And a whistle. It's going to be a timeout by Principia. As the Greyhounds lead 44 to 36. We'll step aside while the Panthers regroup. When they come back, they'll be third and 10 here in this overtime frame. You're watching Greyhounds football. We go third down for the Panthers. Overtime. Greyhounds leading 44 36. Turnbow keeps it. Now looking to pass. He's got his receiver down the left sideline, but it is incomplete. It was Marcus Needham, the freshman. He is streaking right towards the end zone. A fly route. And now this is it for Principia. One last chance to get into the end zone. Otherwise, that'll be it, and the Greyhounds will walk away with a huge homecoming victory here in 2021. Turn ball's ready out of the shotgun. He looks. He's got to go. Over the middle. Picked off, and that will do it. The Greyhounds. With a humongous win on homecoming day as they charge back after trailing by 14 points on two different occasions. And they win here at Gay Field by a final of 44 to 36. And a crowd coming out to celebrate with the Greyhounds. An amazing win. This fourth quarter was just so big. As we take a look at that final play, we catch up with Turbo trying to, looked like he was trying to connect with Tillman, who was the, the man of the day for the Panthers, did so much, certainly offensively, but also on the defensive side of the ball. And what a fantastic finish. Calvin Sweeney had four touchdowns on the afternoon. 
The last one coming in overtime. They punched it in for the two-point conversion, and that is all she wrote for a fantastic win here at Gay Field. To recap the scoring, Principia scored on two passes to Deshaun Tillman and led a halftime 14 to nothing. Then in the third quarter, this is when the it was really just a pinball of a scoreboard in this game in the third quarter as it was uh, Makai Sanders got the first touchdown for Clayton, 31-yard touchdown catch. Then it was Deshaun Tillman getting his third touchdown of the game for Principia, made it 22-6. Sweeney would get his first touchdown of the game as that came with 6.04 left to go in the third quarter. 22-14 still Principia. Then Principia would answer as Luke Warwick with a one-yard plunge on the ground. 2.33 left to go as 28-14 Principia. And then came the Hound. Calvin Sweeney, another touchdown. 10-11 left to go early in the fourth. It was a pick six, 30 yards. Two-point conversion was good. It was 28-22. Then Sweeney right again. And it happened just 17 seconds later as... Sweeney from 32 yards, 30 to 28 in favor of the Greyhounds. Principia would answer Gavin Horton, 70-yard touchdown pass, 36-30. Calvin Sweeney gets his fourth touchdown of the game with 131 left to go in regulation, three yards out, 36-36 as the two-point conversion was no good. And then in the overtime, the Greyhounds got the ball first from their 25 And when it was all said and done, it was Sweeney getting his fifth touchdown of the game from short distance. And that is all the Hounds needed. Now let's take a look at that winner coming in overtime from Calvin Sweeney. Worked so well in traffic, kept the Legs moving, dives in from two yards out. That is a Clayton victory. They're second in a row. They will travel just up the road to U-City to battle the Lions. It'll be next Saturday afternoon start. Try to go for three in a row. So that's your final. A great one from Gay Field as Clayton is victorious by the final of 44-36. I'm Todd Schumacher saying so long.